hi, I finally got my, <laughs> I finally found my, uh, my car mount thing for my phone, so uh, anyway, I uh, thought I would start recording again. I was thinking yesterday, I'm not sure what made me think about this, um, but when, when I was in grad school, and I would say Katie was probably a year and a half old, I would guess. One day it was just the two of us at home and she fell, somehow tripped or whatever, and hit her. She hit a, 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 a plant pot, uh, you know, one of those clay ones or whatever. And, um, and the way that she, and she hit her mouth and the way that she fell, her, I, it's funny, I can't even remember now if it was her, if it was her bottom or her top lip. Um, but anyway, she, <clears throat> when she fell, she bit down on the lip <clears throat> and she had this perfect cut uh, on her lip, right at the edge of her, the, her lip and her regular facial skin. And, and it was bleeding a lot, you know, as a lot of times head injuries do. And, and I had been out doing something, I don't know what, but I wasn't dressed for I was dirty. And, uh, you know, and I, and, but anyway, so, so I gathered her up uh, to take her to the, to the hospital to have her mouth looked at because, again, it's bleeding quite a bit. So we drive to the hospital, of course, she's crying and she's upset and, and everything. And we get there and we go in and I'm sure it looked like a, literally like a train wreck because I had blood all over me. She had blood all over her. She was crying and blah, blah, blah. So, so we go to the emergency room and, and, uh, and, and they get, uh, and they get her in right away. Uh, if I remember correctly, we didn't have to wait. And, uh, so, so anyway, so they take her back, the, the nurse, uh, they, they do this papoose thing where they like wrap them all up so that she won't be able to, you know, have her hands in the way and, you know, and, and try to get away from the doctor and that sort of stuff like that. So, so they get her all papoosed and, uh, you know, so, and if I remember correctly, that kind of calmed her down. I mean, of course I was there with her and, you know, doing what I could to soothe her and, and everything. Oh, and also too, I think they'd give her some, they'd put some Novocaine in that lip by then too. So maybe, I'm sure that helped. But, uh, anyway, so, um, so, so that after a few minutes, the, the ER doctor comes in and he's got his needle all threaded up and he's ready to go. And he did this thing that is not easy for anybody to do, but especially it's not easy for a doctor to admit that there's something that they're not willing to do or comfortable doing because he didn't even, so, so, so he comes in, he's got his little needle and his thread in one hand. And, uh, and, he, and he leans over and he takes a look at Katie's lip and he stands up and he, he looks at me and he says, I, he says, I'm not going to do it. And I said, what do you mean? He said, he said, I, I, he said that basically the way that it had cut her lip and I, <laughs> I can't remember if it was up or lower. I still can't. Anyway, the way it had cut her lip, like I said, it was right on the edge of the, where her lips are and then her regular face right where they meet and he said he said if if I don't get this right if this is, isn't done right that her lip line she'll always it'll always be uneven that line again between the the lips and the and the facial skin and he said I, I'm not gonna do it he said I'm gonna refer you to a plastic surgeon so I thought whoa and so <laughs> and then lo and behold the the, the emergency room calls up the the plastic surgeon who's in the same complex we don't even have to get in the car again and they get her in right away the guy comes out they take a look at her and you know and, and they go in and, and he sews it up and and I, and I think if you look at Katie now you'll see as far as I know there's no scar and that lip line uh, matches up perfectly I do remember she had scar tissue in that lip for some years afterward but I'm pretty sure that's been gone for a long time so anyway and as you know if you've seen Katie, which all of you have. She's a very pretty girl, and um, we're glad that her lips are not damaged <laughs> because of a fall she had when she was a year and a half old. Okay, thanks for watching. Love you.